Right now, the internet is going crazy over this math problem. So it's time for the order of operations to save the day. The problem is 60 divided by 5 times 7 minus 5 equals what? We'll solve this using the order of operations. It is commonly referred to as PEMDAS or board mass. This refers to evaluating parentheses or brackets, then exponents or orders, then multiplication or division, and finally addition subtraction. If there are two operations of the same precedence, you have to evaluate them from left to right. The first step of the problem has no controversy. The expression contains a parenthetical expression which must be evaluated first. So, 7 minus 5, this is a non-controversial part of a question and this is equal to 2. The argument is about what to do next. According to the order of operations, we should evaluate multiplication and division with equal precedence going from left to right. We should evaluate 60 divided by 5 first. This will be equal to 12. Finally, we evaluate 12 times 2 and that gives us the correct answer of 24. This is without a doubt a correct answer according to modern interpretation of the order of operations. But let's time travel for a bit. Well, historically this division symbol had a special meaning when you wrote it in the text. So we'll go over this interpretation which has slightly different meaning in certain texts in 1917 or before. So the first part is same as before. We will still evaluate the parenthesis first. 7 minus 5 equals 2. The question is what to do next. The special rule about the division symbol is that you evaluate everything on the left and divide it by everything on the right. That is, you want to divide entire product on the left by the entire product on the right. So, for example, if a textbook wrote x divided by 2y, which is equal to x over 2y in parenthesis. So, if we use this special rule, we would then need to take 60 and divide by 5 times 2. So, we take 60 on left and 5 times 2 on right and form a fraction as follows. We then evaluate 5 times 2 as being equal to 10. Then, we will take 60 divided by 10 and get to the answer of 6. This is one way that people do interpret this question. So, some people say the answer is 6 and other people say it's 24. Some people would argue the expression is ambiguously written, so there's no corrections. It is analogous to a poor written sentence. It is just because of historical artifacts. You don't need to rewrite the number over the denominator that will take a block of vertical space. And also, you would need to keep the parentheses everywhere. We don't use it today because it can't be confusing. Instead, we follow the order of operations. So, the correct answer is... 24 but there's some historical justification for 6 as the answer but it's not how we interpret the problem today did you get the answer of 24